Okay, we're back live. And uh, let's see. So over here, we got this little cable. And I'm gonna bring it into focus here. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Let's take this. Be careful. And here comes my favorite friend. My triple zero screwdriver okay mr. triple zero screwdriver and the magnets so off you go off you go uh, let's make this a little bit clearer okay there we go there we go I'm getting somewhere um, so now carefully Pull back, and that's your digitizer cable right there. LCD cable video. All right, we got two more to go. Over here, over here. Now, um, this, and I'll move. Actually, I'm better off moving the board closer. Do they realized? Just pull this off, and. Mm, I like this tool. It's a dentist tool. Okay, that's off. Now, ultimately, I want to work on this guy. This guy can be a pain, and depending on manufacturing, may or may not have this pull tab. You see that? Well, I'm lucky. It's got a pull tab. And I'm just going to take this and pull hard and go like this on some of them when they don't have a pull tab you need to be careful you put a piece of um, metal batteries disconnected and you can pull it out and I'm just gonna pull it back okay so having said that I have released all of the cables only two of the screws out of uh, what did I say eight so I'm gonna take my screws put them nicely on my magnetic holder and left magnets magnets make life good okay magnets make life good let's say that okay so let's see if we can focus on what I'm doing all right so let's start on this end and I'm going to take off these um, screws there's one. There's two. Uh, there's three. Uh, be careful when you're working with uh, a pointed screwdriver. Dropping it uh, can ruin a digitizer uh, and knock off a chip. So I've taken those two off. Here's the other one. And if you have any questions, um, please feel free to uh, email me. Uh, I go by Z, but my email is azubair123 at gmail.com. And uh, when I figure it out, I'll put it in the bottom of this video. Anyhow, and I do these repairs, so if you need help uh, with your Kindle or just about any handheld device. Uh, I love working on these things. Uh, for some reason, I think I love uh, the fact when something comes in here broke and goes out um, working, uh, it's a blessing. And um, it's a learning experience every day. Uh, okay, so now we're here. Now the critical question is what do we do next and this is a very important step okay there is a little piece of rubber or um, foam that pushes in on the USB port you got to take that out and that's critical when you repair it um, you got to put it back because that's kind of a uh, mechanical um, pushback electronics is mechanics and 
electrons flowing in the core of it. Okay. All right. So now what we have to do, okay, you see those two tabs? Um, those two tabs, uh, I like to, before I pull this out, uh, put a little bit of solder right there, heat it up so that um, I don't want to ruin a very expensive OEM uh, USB port. So, um, if I put a little solder, I have a better chance of pulling the whole um, board out as opposed to leaving and ripping anything um, over there that hasn't been ripped already. Uh, some of them can be uh, very damaged, so there's nothing much I can do there, but um, I do my human best to, uh, to keep things nice and uh, delicately perched. Okay, soldering iron, turn it on.